Uh, hello. Hello. Welcome, Welcome to the movie, the movie girls. girls. <laughs> Sorry. I was late on the end. You, you always pause and then I just keep on going. You do and I should get better at learning. It's finally hot in here in it's sunny Vancouver, and I am a sweaty little mess. We're going to go to the pool after this. Yes, pool day. I'm wearing a bathing suit right now. It's great. I'm not, I haven't worn I this bathing suit since two years ago when I was in Mexico, and I was Ooh. like putting it on. Memory. <laughs> oh, I could go back to Mexico. Yeah. Or Jamaica. Oh, speaking oh. of, <laughs> this week's episode of The Movie Girls, we are watching, did I pick this? I picked this. You picked it. I picked this. Uh, how Stella, Stella got, got a groove back. back. Stella's getting groovy. Again. Getting groovy with Stella. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, we're amazing. Uh, from 1998, uh, director is Kevin Rodney Sullivan. Uh, writer is Terry McMillan. Yeah, so it's based is, on a book. Based on a book, which is based on her real life experience. We will definitely talk about later. <laughs> Some <laughs> hot goss. Scandal. <laughs> uh, starring Angela Bassett, Whoopi Goldberg, <laughs> Regina King, and Suzanne Douglas. Had a budget of $20 million, gross $37 million. So not like, you know, huge, huge. But it did things. So that's good. It did. It's, well, it's, it made some money. An important movie of um, a middle-aged, uh, successful black woman. Yeah. That, you know, we don't see enough of, and especially not in, um, what was it, 1998? Yeah. So... I'm, I'm pretty good. excited to watch this. Me too. I mean, we also, we're not going to talk about the boys because we don't care, but like, hello, young Tay Diggs. Young Tay Diggs. <gasps> I love him at all Even ages. old Tay Diggs. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Ooh. He's lovely. I like him very much. Anyway. It's, it's a good looking cast. Like yeah. Angela Bassett. Can Ooh. you think of anybody more she beautiful? She is like, I think she is just like one of the sexiest women alive. Oh, she's She is stunning. so like sensuous. Yeah. And she just exudes this confident. I don't, know, well, I don't know. I can't even words at her. I love her so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. I didn't even know that movie Goldberg was in this movie until I read it. And I was like, what the shit? But I mean, yeah, I've never seen it. Neither yeah, of us have seen it. We haven't seen it at all. But everybody, everybody's heard of how Starly gets her groove back. Yeah. So, But they don't know how she did it. How did she we get her will groove know. back? We'll find out. We'll tell you. Yes. And then we'll all get our groove back. It's true. And we'll all go to Jamaica. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Uh, this cocktail was a no brainer. We got yeah. some fresh young coconut teal hollowed mm-hmm. them out for us. Um, I put in, what did I do? I did a shot of Appleton Estate rum. Because Jamaica. Because Jamaica. Yeah. And then a shot of Malibu rum. Because mm-hmm. um, I kind coconut. of wanted, you know, yeah, a light rum and a darker rum. <laughs> <laughs> and coconut. Yeah, just tropical <laughs> flavors. I did um, a shot of pineapple juice, um, a few shots of orange juice, and then I topped it up with coconut juice. Because you can't waste that delicious coconut juice. Yeah. Fresh young coconut. I feel so wrong saying fresh young coconut. Oh yeah, that's gross. It's gross. And then juice. Fresh young coconut juice. Fresh mm. young juice. Mm. And then we topped it up gross. with um, a little fun umbrella straw. Really cute umbrella straws. So cheers. Cheers. We already drank it. <laughs> Tiffany, we can lie. It was full. We took it down to the pool to get a picture and it was too full so we had to like sip it so we wouldn't spill everywhere. Yeah, sorry about it. So right, cheers to pool days and relaxing. Cheers. Ooh, clunk. Clunk, yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh. It's so good. It's really good. Doesn't it just like take you to the beach? It really does. Like white sands, blue water, <laughs> beautiful Tay Diggs fanning you with a oh, palm leaf. That's all I want in life. All right, let's watch this. Maybe. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we are relaxed. It's going to be great. We'll see you in a minute. Huh. We're back. We're back. Sorry, I'm making a lot of noise. Hold on. No, it's fine. I may not be able to use this. It's fine. We're back. I like teal. As soon as it ended, just... What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay, so I feel like this was... This will be the first time we watched a movie that was not good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start with what we like. This okay. had a 49% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. But it's got four out of five stars on IMDb, so like, mixed... Why does it say six? Oh. Is it five out of six? There's five One, stars. One, two, three, four, five, but four. Four of them are colored in. Four out of five stars, but also a six. And then bracket six, bracket. <laughs> Fuck, I think Why does anyone also... talk about how bad this movie is? I know. Oh, I just... Uh. <laughs> I don't even have words for how much I didn't like it. I'm really disappointed because I really wanted to like it. Really wanted to I've like it. Heard about this movie? Why do people talk I mean, about like, it? Poster. Look at her. She looks. Fucking okay. No. 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 Great. Let's start with what we like. Let's start with what we like. What did you like about it? I liked her 
character. I liked Angela Bassett. I like seeing her in that powerful role. Yes. I don't. What? What's her groove, and where did it go? <laughs> and did, did she, what did, did she, she get, get back? back? I, I, I guess what I thought this was was, like, woman, shit's going wrong. Mm-hmm. She takes herself on vacation, figures out what life is really all about, feels better. Yay, movie. Kind of, where did where did the man factor in? Well, I thought she I thought the man was just like kind of a fling that she I had. did figure she would have a fling and then I, I thought she would be like I'm better on my own and go oh, back oh, home and like oh. kill it. Yeah. And crush it. And uh she didn't really get any This movie was so bizarre. It was so many like splices of scenes just like yeah. stuck together and it didn't make any sense and whoever edited this movie should be shot. Yes. That was bizarre. There was so that many bit with Danny that... Glover just yeah, and I know his. I know his scenes were edited out. Danny Glover was in the movie as like some old guy, like a guy in old makeup that was yeah. just kind of hitting on her at the resort, and they edited all of the scenes out. But they kept one where she's just like, "Help! That old man's trying to hit on me," and you have no context for that. <laughs> and it's just some old man holding a rose. Why? Why wouldn't they it? edit that scene out too? It didn't make the whole sense. thing. And then <laughs> I just don't understand. It's so there were bizarre. so many plot elements that got introduced. Or ignored, or then also just weren't spoken of. It, it was weird. It was so bizarre. I'm very disappointed. I also thought, I didn't think this was a relationship movie. I thought this was much more like strong, badass woman does shit for herself. But it was like, ended up being about a man, which is not what the movie Girls is all about. I don't think it passed the best doll test. Not at all. And which is disappointing. Not only just about a man, but a man that she knew that she shouldn't be with, that wasn't right yeah. for her, and yet she just kept going back to him. And I was kind of hoping at the uh. end they would separate and she would finally like have some redemption, but nope. She chased him down to the airport and accepted his marriage proposal, and that's how it ended, yeah. and that was a bummer. But like, they kept building up this thing about her furniture thing. <laughs> So he cleans up her office, and it's like, that's so nice. And I mean, the whole lead-up, it, it, it makes it seem like, okay, this guy, she goes to Jamaica, she has a delightful flame with a delightful-looking man, Oof. boy, and he inspires her to go after what her heart really wants, which is this furniture business of hers, and realize that she is a strong, independent woman that don't need no man, uh, unless she does, in which case that's her choosing. But it didn't do that. Like, what was the point of bringing up the furniture thing? Because it's not like she did anything. She didn't do she it. She never made anything. They didn't show any of her pieces. She just has a messy, like, workspace that he cleans up for her just because. Because he has nothing else to do. And th- then she t- continues to do the weird, like, stock brokery or whatever job she has. But she got fired from that. And then they gave her her job back with extra. And she said, no, thank you. But then... What? Yeah, what like, was she even doing? And then, so Whoopi goes with her to Jamaica, which is great. <laughs> but also, she's sitting in the beginning with her two sisters. I thought they were her friends. I thought they sisters. were her friends. I didn't figure out they were... Well, like, I think they might have been cousins, because... Or no, sisters, yeah, because she refers to her little sisters. girl as the niece. Yeah. You're right, sisters, which you don't figure out until oh, God, like, near the end of the movie. Through. Whoopi Goldberg. So, Whoopi Goldberg, her friend, they go to Jamaica together, and she's constantly trying to set up with this, like, creepy old man mm. at the resort. And then Whoopi Goldberg just ups and dies. She just done dies. Just done dies in the middle of the movie. And, yeah. What was that? It was very weird. And then Whoopi Goldberg's just gone and they don't really talk about her again. No. And like, so she goes to Jamaica and then she comes back and she gets laid off. And then her son's like, do you think maybe instead of our family vacation we were planning, we could actually go to Jamaica instead? And he's, she's like, she's like, no, we can't afford that. Yeah. Don't I be an idiot. Like, off. like, of course not. Next scene, they're in Jamaica they're again. They're in Jamaica with, like, some random little girl, and you're like, who's this little girl? Yeah, but apparently it's her niece. But like, okay, but it, again... Yeah, we you were... figure that out 15 minutes later, yeah. it's her niece. It was so disjointed oh, and be- badly yeah. edited. It didn't make any sense, and I'm so disappointed, because I've heard about this movie for years, Yeah, and I've heard good things about it, I, guess. I don't know, I don't know if I've heard, I don't know, but I had... <laughs> I guess, I don't want to say high expectations, but at least some expectations. We had expectations. And they were... Maybe the book is better. <laughs> oh, I think it's alarm testing day today. Oh, <laughs> Perfect! That they do works that really sometimes. well with this movie. There's going to be intermittent fire alarms today because I do that in my building once a month. Sorry about it. Once a month? Yeah. That's excessive. Uh, make sure. Is it because it's an old building? Oh, it's not that old. Well, my, my building, Just I don't even know the last time we had a fire. It's like once a year. Oh. 
and everywhere I've ever See, lived. See, once a year they come in, they in, in inside, and yeah, they the, the smoke in here. detectors. But once a month they chest test the alarms. That's the far building. too much. I mean, I don't know. I've do never had to that. Do you want to check too much or not enough? Not enough. Really? I'll say it. Then you could die. Yeah, I'm willing to take that risk. Oh. I think this just sums up the movie. Oh, shit. It's just sporadic and disappointing. <laughs> but if you, if you want to watch, like, two beautiful people going yes. at it. Oof, Please do. Please do. You get to see yeah. Tidig's butt. I mean, I think maybe, too, like, if I was 18, I might enjoy this. Maybe. Maybe in, like, 1998. Yeah. I would have enjoyed and it. I'm sorry. 20 years apart is too Were fucking Were our expectations much. that low back then? Yeah, Maybe. Mm. It has such a killer cast. Great cast. Like Regina King and Whoopi Goldberg and And again, like an all black ensemble, like so amazing. Exciting. But I'm then like, you give them awesome. the shittiest movie. It's disappointing, but like the writer is black and the director is black. I'm like, but this ma- is amazing. I'm so, I was so excited doing right. like I couldn't find any fucking research. But I was really excited by all the people involved. I'm like, this is gonna be fucking great. And it wasn't well, let's talk a little bit about the writer and her experience. Yeah. So she wrote this book based on her own marriage. I think she went to Jamaica and met a man who was younger. And um, he ended up leaving her and uh, came out as gay. Yeah. And, and he um, only wanted to be with her because he wanted to come He to wanted a green card. Yeah. And so they ended up having a very messy, very public divorce. Um, they went on Oprah at one point to, like, yeah. talk it out. And so, oof. Yeah, oof indeed. So watching this movie, I had that in the back of my mind, and they kept getting back together. I was like, well, I know how this ends for you, and it's not good, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Trust your instincts. Yeah. And uh, let him go back to Jamaica and pursue his medical degree. He's 20. The fuck do you know when you're 20? That's so true. And if you flip it around, and this movie was about a, about a man in his Ooh. 40s falling for a woman in her 20s from another country. Oh, gross. Ay. Yeah. Right? I just think, like... Okay, you're 20 and 40 now, but eventually you're going to be, what, 80 and 60? Well, and he wanted children, too, and yeah. that's probably not going to happen. She's an 11-year-old. They didn't even address that. Didn't even speak about it she until, was like, like no. the end when he said, you know, I may be eventually going to want children. And she was like, yeah, not going to happen. She didn't even respond. No, she did. Did she? Yeah, she said that's Oh, that's, that's probably not, not going to happen, yeah. she said. Yeah, and then um, uh, chased him down, and what? That's not like, healthy or no. realistic. Yeah. That's such a pet peeve of mine when people are in a relationship and they don't talk about Major whether or not things. they want to have children or whether or not they want to get married. And Those they just they figure out as they go. And then you get married and you're like, oh shit, I don't want children and you do. So that's a problem. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then another big problem I had, which is like a stupid thing, is um, she's a single parent. She has an 11-year-old son. She introduces him to this man, this 20 year old boy, sorry, that she had a one night stand with in Jamaica. Yeah. And she suddenly, like, brings her son down to Jamaica to meet this man and introduce him to her son's life. And that was so. That's so messed up. Uh, you don't, you don't do that. Yeah, that's not healthy for kids. Like, you can't. No, my parents, when they divorced and they were dating other people, like, they would be with them for several, several months. Yeah. At least before introducing me. And I couldn't imagine just being like, Here's a little one night stand. Yeah. And I said, meet your new We're daddy. Go across the world and go see him. It was kind of messed and up. And then meet his parents, which was weird. And her, his parents were very right to react the way they fucking did. Hundred percent. His parents were pissed. Yeah. And they and the, his mother just called it out. And she wasn't even being mean or aggressive. She was just like, "What do you want with a twenty? How old are you? Yeah. Why are you? You should be ashamed of yourself." And she, Fair her enough. face said, but she didn't say. She should have said, "Yep, I am." Uh huh. Like, it just was like, she's like, this is the most embarrassing thing. Of course, of course it was. It was. <sighs> this movie was very problematic. I didn't like it. I'm I'm so disappointed because of how much I was looking forward to it. And I this was on lists. Because I couldn't think of what to watch next. And I always look up lists of, you know, good great movies for, for women. Mm-hmm. And, and female empowering movies. And blah, blah, blah. And this was on a couple of lists. I was like, sweet. That sounds awesome. Like. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's let's write this movie the way we'd want it. If this movie was done in the right hands in 2019, how would it go? Because I, I loved how it started. She was, like, kicking ass in her job, doing yeah. so well. It didn't make any sense. She was like, oh, that was so bizarre. But she was doing so well, working with a bunch of, like, older white men in the stock market. 
and it was really cool. And then she goes off to Jamaica with her best friend. That was all fun. I was with them until that point. Totally. Have a one night stand with a twenty year old? Great. Do it. Do it. That's awesome. I was down for that. And then And then I would have just loved to her to come back home and just, you know, back to the job. <laughs> yeah. Cause I I also thought that mo- more of the movie took place in Jamaica. Oh my they god, they were in back. Jamaica for maybe like what? Ten yeah. Yeah, it was quick. Like a two hour movie. It, that was weird. I was I was like, what, you're back already? No. And then you're there again? There was not a lot again? of plot. No. And the characters were not deep. No. Regina King was great. Yeah. Except for her wig. That was terrible. <laughs> her wig was bad, but she was great. She, she was great. I like her so much. But, like, the friendship with Whoopi Goldberg and how it went, I mean, that could have been more of a thing. But, like, she's sitting, the beginning, the whole thing about going, she, she's sitting with her two sisters... And then she's late night watching TV, and then an ad comes on saying she should go to Jamaica. So she calls, introduce new character, who we don't know. <laughs> we don't know the sister's names or anything. She just calls her friend in New York and says, we're going to Jamaica. And then it's a whole new person, and then in comes Whoopi Goldberg. It's like, wait, what? And, and then suddenly, the sisters? she's in the hospital. Yeah. And then she did. Yeah. <laughs> it just... I think it had a lot of potential for good stuff, and they chose all the not good stuff. Yeah, yeah, could have been uh, could have been good with a different ending. Yeah, could have been good. Yeah, um, I was glad when he left. I was like, "Sweet, see ya. Get your shit together." Yeah, I just don't understand. At what point does she not have a groove? Because she seemed pretty great. She was crushing her job. She was fit as shit. She was groovy. She had a good relationship with her boy. Yeah. She's an amazing home. Like, this all seems like pretty good groove. So well, what... That's the thing. This movie was basically telling us that, you know, she has all this fantastic life, but it doesn't actually mean anything because she doesn't have a man. So the groove was yeah, the man? I guess. Because it wasn't until she got back from Jamaica, which was what the movie implies, is that she goes to Jamaica to get her groove. Right. But her groove being, like, the only thing bad thing that happened was she got back, and then she got let go of her job because of a merger. So it's like, okay, well... Is that the groove? That, I, I don't know. Because then that happened after she went to Jamaica. So it's like, what the fuck did you go to Jamaica for? I mean, you're allowed to have a vacation. Good for you. Good for you. But just, they imply that she's missing her groove. But I don't know where it went and when. I don't think she ever got it back. I don't know if she ever lost it. <laughs> I'm confused about the groove. <laughs> Where did it go? Did it go? Do you know, I'd be interested in reading the book. Oh, yeah. Right? The yeah. book might be good. Um, so the cool thing about Terry McMillan, who's Excellent. the woman who mm-hmm. wrote the book, mm-hmm. um, her work is characterized by female protagonists. And like we said, the book is based on her own relationship. Um, she also wrote Waiting to Exhale, which is yeah. also a movie that Exhale. I haven't seen. Exhale. I know. I said that I said that weird and I was hoping you would pick up on it, but you always do. Because I'm an asshole. <laughs> no, no, I think it's by you. Um, but maybe Sorry. we'll try watching that too. Yeah. But her work portrays independent black women and their attempts to find fulfilling relationships mm-hmm. with black men, which is super important. Her work created a shift in pop- popular culture's consciousness by creating visibility for smart, hardworking, 30-something black women who are successful but unlucky in love. Mm-hmm. And that's fine. That's yeah. fine. But it's definitely problematic when the major plot point is that you're trying so desperately to hang on to this man even though he's not really that good for you. He doesn't serve any purpose. Mm-hmm. He doesn't... <sighs> Does it make your life better? Yeah, the sex is great. Yeah, he's got a great tush. That's a beautiful tush. Beautiful tush. Do we need to make a movie about that? No. 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 That was disappointing. Yeah. And then another thing I was thinking about, too, is that um, so many movies that we watch are about a woman's struggle to, oh, I'm, I have a career, and I don't have a man, and I'm also trying to go to school, and oh, no, what do I do? And you watch movies about men, and it's not, it's not about that. They're yeah, not trying to, like, to have it juggle all. family and work, and that's the entire movie. That's it. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Um, and that's disappointing. Because, yeah, dudes don't have to worry about it. They don't really, they never that, That's not the major it. plot point for male movies. Mm-hmm. And it's always the major plot point for female movies. And then, yes, it's an integral, huge part of our lives. But mm-hmm. it doesn't need to be the, the story. Only thing, only story we tell about women. Yeah. Yeah, and I just didn't think that's what this was. I didn't think that the whole thing was centered around getting herself a man. I, I just, yeah, I thought the... The fling was just a fling that happened. It should have been. And then she carries on with herself. I really thought this was more about 
her. This was her story about becoming who she wants to be. Mm-hmm. But it was much. It was. It was all about the man. The man, and that was disappointing because that's. Had I known that, I would never have picked this movie for this podcast. Well, no, I'm, I'm glad we watched it and mm. that we know now. Yeah. We didn't know. We didn't know. Now we know. It, yeah, it just didn't, uh, yeah. This definitely is not a movie, movie girl's movie. It doesn't pass the best shell test. Should we're not recommend. that first. Yeah. Yeah. It, just, yeah. Just not, not, no. <laughs> not what I wanted. I'm disappointed. Oh. Disappointed. It's okay. It is okay. I mean, it was fun, but like... It was weird. I laughed a lot. It had moments of, like, what? <laughs> what? And then, huh? <laughs> and then, why? <laughs> and then, who? <laughs> when? <laughs> How? <But> before, why? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> well, uh, there we are. Oh, I, mean, I, have, every, I have one single you fact. You want to hear it? I would like to hear one okay, single so fact. Okay, so Tay Diggs, when he... Um, got the role he was working on rent on broadway Mm -hmm. and he celebrated by streaking through the theater yeah i read that that's great i thought that was weird it's super weird and super problematic like well i'm excited so let me run around naked i hope it was an empty theater look at me naked well we don't know who was in the theater at the time it felt problematic i thought it was fun (laughs) it's beautiful he is really beautiful i like him i like a lot of i like a like all his things. I like all his movies. Oh, yeah. I was excited. I, was like, I, I don't great. blame the cast. No, they're for great. This. The cast was great, I think. I guess I, I really have wondered, too, what the reception was to this movie at that time. Mm-hmm. And when they made it, and that they were like, this is a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was reading some of the reviews on IMDb, but they were very mixed. Yeah. It was very like, 10 out of 10 would recommend. And lots of them were also like, 2 out of 10 would not recommend. But it was very, like, polarized. It's so funny how 1998 was a different time. It was a very different time. Right? Yeah. It wasn't that long ago, but even when we were talking ago, about 21. a few podcasts about, go about watching, watching Austin Powers and oh, yeah. how weird that was, and it doesn't seem like that long ago. So it's just funny how your standards change and... Well, now we know what it's like when the movie girls watch a movie they don't like. <laughs> we can't have them all be perfect. Do we have groove? Do we have? Do we need to get it back? <laughs> so, should we have? Should we go to Jamaica? I mean, I would still go to Jamaica. Okay, let's go get our group back. Let's go to the pool instead. Okay, it's let's go to the pool. Okay, we're gonna go drown our souls. <laughs> you're gonna say we're gonna go drown we're ourselves. We're just gonna go drown ourselves. <laughs> uh, we're gonna drown our disappointment in pretty cocktails and our cute little l- wine glass tumblers that Tiss mom got us. Well, her and she shared with me because she loves me. Yeah. Uh, We're going to go get a groove back at the yeah, pool. Yeah. We can go swim in the pool. Mm, jump in and swim around. Also, that sunny out, which is disappointing. It's kind of overcast That's now. okay. It's but warm. But it'll be hot and uh, we'll feel great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, do you even want to ask the questions? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's ask the questions. It's a time honor tradition. It is a time honor tradition. Do I ask you or do you ask me? I never know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's no rules here. There's no rules at the this. What is the school? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> question number one. Did you like it? No! <laughs> no, I did it. I loved it for one. It's no, my favorite. did oh. it. Okay. No! Uh, who would you recommend it for? No one! <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, who would I recommend this for? I mean, I feel like if I was like 16 to 18, I would probably like the romantical aspects of it. I'm sure my little like... It was pretty sexy, like some of those scenes. Sexy. Yeah, I feel like teenagers might enjoy this. Teenagers in nineteen ninety eight, maybe not twenty nineteen. Hey, yeah. who would you recommend this for? Anyone? No. Nope. Mm, cool. <laughs> Next, uh, what mood should you be in to watch it? I don't know. <sighs> Wanting to be disappointed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a good time. I laughed a lot. It was funny. <laughs> I enjoyed myself. Oh, I'm just feeling all mopey and disappointed. Oh no. And <laughs> Hey, know. You, you know what? They can't all be winners. I know. If all movies were good movies, then we wouldn't know which ones be. were good because they'd all be good, and then it's all the same. That's right. It has to be bad be for perspective. This is fun. This is great. I had fun. I love watching like a good bad movie. But I don't think it was meant to be bad. Is the thing? It wasn't. I like watching a bad movie that's like it knows it's a bad movie. This one did not. Yes, I, I had fun. I feel like I kind of have a feeling that this one came down to the editing process. Yeah, oh, like, 100%. Because the acting really itself, it. yeah. 
was great. The story was not great, but you know, it was well, a story. I think they cut out a lot of shit. But they definitely you edited it down. so oddly, and yeah. it just didn't make any sense. And you got to wonder, like, who greenlit that? Like, who watched the final cut and was like, "Yep, yeah. this is great, great, Love great." It. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess they were probably like, you know, we spent too much time and money on this. Let's just like get, get it out. out. Yeah. <laughs> and like, no, I don't like a shitload of exposition in movies, but maybe a little, just a little. Would be nice to understand the character a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to blame this on the editing process. 100%. Yeah, because I was really excited about everything else, so. Uh, how many um, Tay Dig butts would you rate this out of, like, naked oh, boobies? Oh, man. There was a lot of naked boobies and only one Tay Dig's butt. There were weird 90s boobies, though. Yeah. <laughs> they're all, like, they're pretty perky. It's true. <laughs> I don't know. Um, That's hard because Tay Dig's is a high score. I know. Tay Dig's butt is a, I mean, it's, uh, it's the ultimate. And Angela Bassett, by the way, I don't want to downplay oh, her role. Fuck. She was incredible. She's amazing. She's amazing. She did what she could yeah. with that ridiculous role. She killed it. She's yeah. She is a fierce, badass fucking woman, and mm-hmm. I really like. I her. love seeing her in anything, and, and and she seems just like a great person too. Like I was on her yeah. Wikipedia page, couldn't find like a ton of info um, relating to this movie that I wanted to share, but she mm-hmm. just seems really great and cool, and I just yeah. want to know her. Yeah, the whole want cast to watch everything was that really she's in. great. Mm-hmm. I think that's yeah, that's definitely what made it disappointing. Is that you're like, okay, I know this is an amazing cast, and this this could be. I thought it was a really important movie to watch. Yeah, I guess is why it's disappointing. And then you watch it, and you're like, oh no. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Anyway, I have no rating for it. Okay, that's fine. no rating because I don't want to soil. Our ratings don't mean anything anyway, so it's what. <laughs> I've, said, I've said that numerous times. The rating means nothing at all. It's just, it's just for me, and it's fun. I know. I feel like I can't even honor this with. It would be like one warm c- cocktail. Ew, sitting on the in the beach. sun all day with like a dead yeah. fly in it. Um, out of, out of, ew, out of one, out of three. Gross men hitting on Ew, women in with their, like their league. old hairy chests Ugh. and flabby thighs. Yeah, and ill-fitting really speedos. Harsh. I don't think it was that bad. It was pretty bad. You know it. I know, but that seems really mean. No, oh. ill-fitting old man speedos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the pool. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, this has been swell. Well, ish. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> See you <Next> later. Week. <laughs> Fresh young coconut juice. Fresh Mm. young juice.